Hello my friends, this is The Art of Prepping. Let's look at the four main personality types. Uh, there are actually 16 specific types of personalities, but in this video we're going to pull back and just look at the four main broad groups. Uh, the 16 all fall into these four. So it's really a lot easier to look at personality types in four categories than in 16. Uh, but I do invite you to take personality tests that involve all 16 just to get to know yourself a little bit better and to understand why you do what you do and think what you think. So we're going to use, um, instead of uh, just kind of boring psychology terms to identify each of these four, we're going to use animals and colors. So we're going to talk about the sea urchin, the whale, the shark, and the dolphin. Uh, we're going to use this information to enhance our communication skills uh, by being able to identify uh, the motivations and perspective of those around us, and of course even ourselves. And this is really good for business. Um, and personal relationships. The first one is going to be the sea urchin. And it's typically identified with the color green. Their motivation is typically safety and security and expanding their freedom. Their characteristics are they naturally like to plan and to be prepared. If there was ever a personality type that was naturally a prepper. It's going to be the sea urchin. They are very logical people. They have very high moral standards. They're self-motivated, independent, and detail-oriented. But they can be very complicated people that can be a little difficult to get to know, especially on a personal basis. They are investigative intellectual, and typically introverted. And this is the, the, probably the downside uh, to this personality type, is that having more deep, meaningful relationships can be a bit of a struggle for this, uh, for this group. The next personality type is the whale, and is typically identified as the color yellow. The motivator for this personality type is the ability to make a difference, uh, being an agent of change, and in quotes, saving the world. So the characteristics are pretty obvious. Uh, they love to be helpful. So they, they want to help people all the time. Um, they are compassionate. They love uh, to uh, give love to other people uh, and be joyful in that way. They are caring people, uh, therefore they make great caretakers. And they're the type of a person that love to volunteer for everything in a club or in a family situation. They do what it takes to get the job done because they have real concern for uh, the well-being of others. And so much so that they typically put the needs of others before their own. They are very social and very nurturing people. Very outgoing, extroverted, very likable, and once again, very helpful people. The kind of person that you'd want around and definitely want a friend uh, of this nature. The third personality type is going to be the shark, typically identified with the color red. Their motivator is all about getting results. They are driven by status, recognition, wealth, and success. And this can obviously be in a positive or, or negative, depending on how the person uses it. Their characteristics typically involve 
big picture approaches to life. Uh, they're not really interested in details. They do desire attention and they really desire to get things done. And they can be a bit aggressive and a bit uh, misunderstood because of how blunt they can be. Uh, they're self-motivating, extroverted, and they enjoy attention. Typically, they come off as if they have a big ego because they do have a big ego, typically speaking. Uh, they are typically well-dressed, uh, and they have nice cars and houses. Uh, they're status-driven. And uh, the downside with this personality type is that uh, they can easily fall in the trap of becoming a workaholic. The fourth personality type is the dolphin, uh, typically associated with the color blue. Uh, the motivation for this group is fun. <laughs> That's pretty much the, the highlight there. Spontaneous recreational activities. That's what they're all about. Uh, their characteristics um, involve them being the center of the party. Uh, they're not typically very well organized. Uh, they're typically late, uh, but they're socially loved, which is a big plus. Uh, they're fun and outgoing. Uh, they love attention, and they're high-energy people. Sometimes, though, they come off as a little lazy because they can be. Uh, they're extroverted, probably the least motivated of all the personality groups. And they typically have some financial problems. Um, they're the least prepared people of all personality types. But they enjoy life, and they enjoy the physical pleasures that life gives. In summation, I just want to uh, lay out here that uh, we are typically driven by one personality type. But they're typically, for most of us, there's a second and third to help balance out the main. And so that's something that really is important to know that uh, we're not just one. We're not just in a little box. Uh, a lot of us are just mixtures. And some people are almost equally balanced between two of the personality types. But it's very rare to find someone that's just 100% one and not the other. So I just wanted to point that out. And uh, hopefully this uh, helps uh, answer some questions I got recently on uh, personality. And uh, if, as a prepared individual, uh, this is going to be very helpful uh, to kind of get a leg up on uh, who you're talking to and how to talk to them. Because once you identify uh, their personality traits, you'll be able to know what motivates them and how they think. And these are really great assets to have, especially in stressful times. As always, you guys take care.